Thank you, Mary. I mean, and this is the projected storm surge, Bruce. This isn't mm -hmm. written in stone, but notice the, the purple area there. Uh, th that, that could be over you know, 20 feet. Uh, the good news is because of the landfall, we think the highest surge will be southwest of Miami. But, you know, still we're looking at storm surges up near Homestead in the red there of 9 to 12 feet. Again, the purple over 12 feet plus and some of that could be 20. And the good news is you know, Homestead, Miami, maybe Miami only, you know, three to six feet. But of course, remember, a lot of Miami is only about four to six feet above sea level. So that would be a, a problem. Yeah, you know, our viewers are weighing in with questions, you know, and uh, one viewer wanted to know, Jennifer, uh, any chance that this uh, storm can keep veering to the west? Uh, Jennifer, there's a chance. Uh, I've been one of the proponents of taking this a little further to the west. I don't think it's going to go much further to the west than, it, than it's forecast to go up the, the, you know, the west side of uh, Florida. Mm -hmm. So I would say that's slim, but sure, it's in the cone of possibility. Okay. I keep coming back to this storm is the size of the entire state of Florida. Have you ever seen anything like this? Uh, it's a big storm. I mean, Katrina was a big storm uh, as well. It's much bigger than Andrew. And in fact, the uh, in terms of how far away the hurricane force winds extend out from the eye, uh, it's much, much bigger than Andrew. Yeah, let, let me ask you about Andrew. I, I remember flying back into Miami after Andrew and entire mobile home parks. I mean, hundreds of them just flattened, just go in there with the bulldozers and just clear out the, de the debris. People had nothing to come home to. Is that what we're looking at this time? Well, the, the landfall is a little different than it was in uh, with Andrew, 92. So I think the winds will be less around Homestead. I think the storm surge might be a little greater. So, you know. Pick your poison. Yeah, I also want to come back to those high rises in uh, Miami. You know, they're, they're, they're really tall. I'm told those that were built after Andrew, you know, the, the codes are a lot more strict, mm -hmm. but they're glass also, and they're pretty tall. You still got those cranes up. What's the skyline going to look like in Miami and Fort Lauderdale? Uh, it could blow out windows. I think the buildings are safe. I was told they're going to take the tr cranes down. I guess they haven't done that yet, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you're a golfer, trees are 90% air. I guess cranes are 90% air, but if they fall down, that's a big, big problem. Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe declared a state of emergency. What's that about? Does he know something we don't know? I don't think so. I think he's just playing, uh, playing it safe and getting, uh, you know, getting him in queue in case there are federal dollars needed. But we don't anticipate any problems in Virginia. He's getting in line. Getting in line. Okay. Getting in queue. Yep. Okay, we'll check in with you a bit later. Okay. Hurricane Irma having a.